Hello, I am Ice Beast and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4. So we should, uh, I, I realized that I was probably way too heavily focusing on Novgorod. We have a truce with them for another three years. I mean, at this point, maybe I should just go in on it. Um, but I was kind of thinking of maybe going after the Livonian Order. Novgorod has a claim on this. Riga has a claim on that. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start... God damn it. I'll lose one diplomatic relation for five years. I don't really want to go to war with Denmark and Brandenburg. Um, mainly, be, I mean, I do want to go with, war with these people at some point, but I'm guessing... Wait, who the fuck's at war with whom? Is it only Poland that you're at war with? The Polish conquest of Kolm. What war are you in? Because I wanted to... You, this is part of the Polish conquest of Kolm. So yeah, this would be... I'm going to have to decline this. Mistakes were made in our alliances. Because I think we want to go to war with these guys as well. So let's do that. We can also invest in an idea if we want. But I think we want to get military tech. So we're at military tech 4, if I remember correctly. And we want to get to military tech 5. So... Likelihood nobody's going to want to become our best friends. No. It's probably because my diplomatic reputation sucks a little bit. Yep. I feel like I hear a weird noise. Sorry, I was looking around being like, where is that weird noise coming from? But I don't believe I was hearing a weird noise. But yeah, I want to get ready to go to war over here, so... We're going to head this way. This will give us more coastal holdings, which would be good. I think, personally. Man, I swear I'm hearing things, guys. I apologize if I, like, abruptly stop saying stuff. But I, like, I have this innate feeling that I'm hearing things. We do want to, you know, eventually go after Kazan and the Golden Horde and stuff like that. I think they would be a good enemy to go after. But again... Not at this moment. Man, I am, like, literally going insane, I think. A great advisor has died. That's too bad. Let us get uh, this guy who will improve our diplomatic reputation. Um, god damn it. I don't really want to have to crush six noble regiments, but... Okay, let's go do it. They're going to rise up in... In where? All the way over fucking here? Alright, get over there. Put a leader on. Um, we'll have to... We'll have to choose this. Alright, um... Okay, let's do it. We should have no problem actually crushing this revolt. It's not a lot of people, but... Uh, the reason I wanted to do this was to get my army to start moving that direction. Are you kidding me? They already took it? That was what I was hoping was to be there soon enough that they wouldn't be able to siege it. But oh, I, I, mistakes were made by me. Um, I guess it's because we were on times four, and I really should not have been on times four. But okay, we've retaken our province. We're gonna head back towards Moscow and then use that to come up this way. We have enough to uh, fabricate claims. I think we want Narwa over Revol. Revol. No, we definitely want Revol. There's, like, zero chance that we don't want Revol. Alright. So you can uh, stop building a spy network, because we're going to need you to declare war. Come on. What's your force limit? 14? 15? Um, moving quickly by boat or on horseback, the coastal small ships are very adept raiders. As the coastal small ships are, are inside our borders, the Lithuanians have now demanded compensation. Yeah, let's uh, grab those Cossacks. That might increase our potential rebellion risk. 
So we can actually Vladimir. So yeah, let's just go through Tiver. But yeah, I want to declare war here. So I'm actually going to do it now. Take Revolt. Yes, I know the Teutonic Order and Riga will come in. I'm not really that worried about it. I have plenty of vassals that will come in on my side. And they're at war with these guys fighting a major engagement. So there's, you know, in some sense, they're, they're hosed. Come into uh, Dorpit. I do want, oh, all my forts did automatically activate. That's actually good for me this time around. So yeah, we'll grab what we can. So we can't go into there, but we can go into Lithen, Letgalen. We can't go into Lyland, I guess, because of the, like, random assessment of enemy forces. I wish we had uh, cannons. I also wish I'd waited till I was military to take 15. And by 15, I mean five. <laughs> 15 would have been a very long time. 639 is a lot to pay, but we should do it. I wish we could embrace the Renaissance. I wanna get these better troops. It will make our overall combat better. We still have plenty of dues. We haven't fought any major engagements. I still feel like I'm hearing things, but I'm not. It's okay. That's kind of me telling myself it's okay, but it's okay. It's okay, Ice Beast. It's okay. You're not insane. No matter how much you think you're going insane, you're not insane. Yet. Jesus Christ. I think I'm going insane. <laughs> I apologize, by the way, if you're upset that I'm like, Jesus Christ, all the time. But I think I'm going insane. I can get admin tech, but we're going to have to wait there. I'm purposefully waiting here. God damn it. I want to fight these guys, but I also want to wait for these sieges to end. So they're going to siege, actually. Nope, now they're coming this way. Not happy about this, but it looks like I'm gonna have to abandon this siege. Nope. Now they're coming back this way. God damn it, you'd already abandoned the siege. Oh, we're on speed fucking four. God, I'm not happy about abandoning that siege. Um, let's get these troop the better troops in here right away. Cause it will cost us morale. Hopefully it should tick up relatively quickly. I'm so pissed off they made me reset this siege. I still feel like I'm going insane, guys. I now have taken off one headphone to, like, confirm that I'm not hearing things. I feel like this, these, the morale is going up really slow. Who no longer considers Kazan arrival? Yeah, I feel like my morale is going up incredibly slow. Come on, 42%. Roll the dice better. The main problem is, is that these sieges are actually costing us manpower. And you're like, why don't you lower the number of dudes you have here? Uh, mainly because it accelerates the siege. Please, win the siege. Thank you. Oh, you just lost a major battle. Lithuania also lost a major battle. Norway is being a bunch of dicks to us. Can we get Bohemia in on, like, being best friends? I want to be your best friend. The best there ever was. Boop, 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 boop. Why aren't we having more besties? I need more besties. People don't want to be my bestie. Our truce with Novgorod has ended. We can now declare war on them. That is true. Is this really like 700 and something? 724? That's a shit ton of points. 
We are losing money, but not a whole lot. We have not made much siege progress anywhere. This was at 35 fucking percent. Nobody is rolling the dice well. Okay, let's go back to speed four because I'm frustrated. Okay, 35%. Finally a change. Come on. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Come on. Roll the dice better, guys. Disease outbreak. That's not what we want. We're looking for a 5 through 12, basically. Uh, and we're getting none of those. We have not yet gotten a single 5 through 12 on this entire thing. We've been sieging for 254 days. Um, each phase lasts, what, 25 days? Th or 40 days? Oh, finally, something fucking happened. Jesus Christ. Can, can something fucking happen here, please? Please? Peace. There we go. We're making progress, guys. We're up to 36%. Oh, my God. We're going to positive. Not quite there yet. <laughs> but we've lost more dudes waiting for the goddamn siege to end. I I'm so mad about this siege up here. What? Fucking Denmark? Fabricating claims on me? I really, I mean, my manpower is so low, I would not be able to fight a war against Denmark. Who just had a regency happen? Odoyeve, something like that? 21%. Um, integration is a slow, pro oh, we've integrated Skav. That's fine. Finally making progress here. This actually probably costs us more money from the integration. Port maintenance. Did you guys end your war? No, your, your war is still going on. Finally. I'm going to come over here. What's the uh, supply limit here? 19. You come up to here. We're losing eight gold a month for army maintenance, and it's all from right goddamn right here. Water shortage, that didn't increase this apparently. Meanwhile, they're doing like the Lord's work. 17,000 men there. Sure, give me the inflation. Can you please fucking win your goddamn siege? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, we are getting incredibly unlucky. Do you see how many disease outbreaks we've had? <laughs> I didn't even know a disease outbreak was a possibility we could get. Thank you, God. Siege of Raval is over. Oh, they would accept this. I'm actually going to take this so I don't have to have any f further Get a little bit of gold this is fine I don't need to push my, my war goals here this gives me uh, the ability to to core all these provinces excellent that was more than enough we can also upgrade this last thing I want to do is lower our army maintenance completely are we over our army force limit? No, we're exactly at our force limit. So yeah, what I want to do is lower all forts. Mothball. All forts. Once this gets up to 15,000 men. Which it just did. We are going to lower our army maintenance all the way down so that we are making some money. We do have corruption. That's okay. Beautiful. We grabbed some good land and increased 
most importantly, our coastal holdings. We do have rebel factions growing. Kasimov is the main one, but uh, I mean, is the one that's not over here. Everybody else is over here. All right, sweet. I think this was a relatively good war, but we could really use making some good friends. Oh my god, Bohemia wants to become my best friend. You're at war with Serbia and Bosnia. You don't really want to become my best friend yet. You're not particularly thrilled with becoming best friends. Yeah, you're not really thrilled with becoming best friends. There's some possibility that you would be willing to become best friends. Let's improve relations with all these guys, but let's, I mean, let's actually get a best friend going because that will help protect us in the future. Yes. Don't go to war with somebody, please. I cannot afford a war right now. What I need to do is make some money. That's what we're doing. But we got a best friend. They have 20,000 dudes. If we can make another best friend, that would be really good. These guys are in a war with Serbia and Bosnia. You're also in a war with Serbia and Bosnia. So yeah, if we can become your best friend... Or your best friend. Who am I? Wait. Why am I? Be, that, you're not who I want to become best friends with. Oh, I'm already improving relations with these guys. Brandenburg wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. France doesn't want to become best friends, but we'll... Oh, the glowing is because we're one of the top five world powers. I get it. So you don't want to become best friends, right? Nope. Mainly, my diplomatic reputation is really penaltying me, but also our distance. Moldavia is not going to want to become our best friends. Nope. You're not independent. The rest of you guys are sort of upset. And everybody else is too far away. Who are you allied with? Chagatai? So you're in a billion people war and you're upset. Let's improve relations with these guys. Just, I mean, it'd be nice to get more good friends. I'm a little worried about this golden, what, Uzbek? I'm a little worried about the Great Horde down here. Gen Y, I'm assuming, does not want to become best friends. I have no diplomats to save. And I have too many provinces to join their trade league. Oh, crap. Estonian rebels are up to pretty high. So let's re-raise our army maintenance. Um, this The Estonian rebels are pissed off about Narva and Revel. Bye-bye, Prestige. It was nice having you. So I'm assuming Austria does not want to become best friends. Yep, they still don't want to be best friends. That's too bad. Brandenburg is too... I wouldn't mind becoming best friends with Brandenburg, but they already dislike us. Because I'm allied to their rival. What if we... Uh, what if we make them our best friend? So let's stop improving relations with France, because they don't want to become best friends anymore. They never wanted to become best friends to begin with, just for clarity. Oh, now the Livonian order is sp spiking. So this is now down to 11 and 18, 11 and 15. Yes, you can have military access. As can you. As can you. I'll let everybody have military access. We can all become best friends. I still think I'm hearing things, guys. But we're also at a good place to end this episode. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. On the next episode, 
um, we're in an okay place. I think that's the best way to put it. We're in an okay place. We're not, we're not quite at the super power level that we want to be at, but we're in a pretty good power level. Uh, we're also got our core is about to happen. I'm just gonna let a time advance a little bit more, but we do have cores growing. And okay, we'll, we'll stop here. But yeah, we have these cores growing. We do have we do have factions growing. May have to lower lower increase autonomy places, which would suck. But we'll see. Anyway, with that all being said, I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.